All right, so what we got is what is probably a homeless guy that was in the street naked. They've called for a portable APHIS. That's the uh, little fingerprint scanner that they like to use on people that won't ID. So, um, uh, you know, in this particular instance, you know, the guy committed an offense by being in the roadway with no clothes on, so um, they can ID him. Unfortunately, law enforcement, we don't have a lot of case law on this, so law enforcement is just taken to randomly using the APHIS on people whether, you know, they want to ID or not. Now, in Texas, the only time you have to ID is A, if you're driving a vehicle, or B, you are arrested. Not detained, not suspected of a crime, but actually physically arrested. You must ID yourself. Uh, it may be that they found some of his clothing here, maybe. That's what it looks like. They may have found some of his clothing. But uh, they call for a portable APHIS to ID him. And they're searching his property. Don't know if he's under arrest or not, but if they're searching his property, he must be. I mean, Houston police would never just randomly search your stuff without a warrant, right? Not the Houston police. I mean, they would never, like, forcibly enter your home on a fake warrant and murder you. No, Houston police would never do anything like that. something with a uh, with his name on it good those guys man this exhaust off this truck has just started up it's terrible so they may not they may cancel the uh the APHIS let me open my door here so I can hear hear what they got So I was here before they got the guy in the car, but I mean, I don't think anybody really wants to see a naked man running around in the street. Sometimes I wish I could unsee some of the stuff I've seen out here. <laughs> a lot of officers, body cameras are going dead. So I'm up off of, this is at Antoine and uh, Little York. Antoine and Little York in Houston. There's not gonna be a lot to see on this. Just waiting on the APHIS. I said they found something, uh, some kind of card. I suspect it's got his name on it. Um, but they haven't canceled the unit with the APHIS yet, so they may still go ahead and do that just to be sure they know who he is. Check him, that way they can check him for warrants and whatnot. I probably won't wait for the uh, the APHIS and stuff. I may go ahead and go. There's uh, there's other calls that are pending. They found a body not too far from here. 
Oh, here comes the patrol unit, I think, with the APHIS. Let's see if I'm right. It's going to be precinct one constables. Nope, they didn't stop, so I guess not. I know most of the constable agencies have got uh, the portable APHIS. Uh, Sheriff Ron Hickman got somebody to donate money to buy on Wayne County Commissioner's Court. Wouldn't authorize it. So basically, he worked around it. Here comes the the portable Aethis in the shiny black car. No, guess not. That's a CID unit. I wonder what he's doing. I guess he's here because I'm here. He's just driving by to check me out. Yeah, he's eyeballing me. He's mad dogging me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so silly. So I'm gearing up for the night. I've got my vest on. And... Here, I'll give you guys a peep. See if you can... No, you can't see my reflection. Sorry. Uh, I've just got my regular photog vest on with all my gear in it and uh, body camera and, and flashlight and and uh, since I'm monitoring HPD tonight I'll be uh, uh, carry the, I'll carry my scanner on my person so I can hear what they're saying right now I've got it in here charging on the seat but it's just gonna be cop watching tonight. I know you guys will find that boring, but, you know, it's my civic duty. Everybody should spend, uh, spend time, you know, when you see a traffic stop or you see... Hold on. When you see something going on, you see a traffic stop or something like that, you should, you should stop and, at the very minimum, observe. The best thing to do, though, is to record. And if you've got a dash camera, you can just point the, the, the nose of your car at the at the scene and you'd be able to record with the dash camera you never have to get out or anything it's kind of lazy way to do it but i mean i have done it and they're asking about is the supervisor coming or not Yes, we just had someone try to run from us. Uh, we uh -oh. were able to get him into custody by getting him to the ground. Uh, as soon as you're out, we still have five people detained. We do need a supervisor right here for Dang, see, that's the call I need to be on. It's not. <laughs> they got uh, five or six people detained. One of them tried to run from them, so. Oh, it's a narcotics thing. See, the narcs are out here working and I missed it. I should have been on that one. We know how bad HPD narcotics are. See if I can zoom in a little bit. Just got my other camera charging so this one's not the best. So they're probably going to transport him for, uh, you know, being naked in the street. I'm not sure what the offense will be, but it'll be something, something, you know, to get him off the street. Uh, I mean, honestly, I, I don't know if he's high or crazy or what. We have a lot of that kind of stuff here in the area. And the, uh, I don't know if y'all can see it in the background, the upper left corner. Precinct 1 constable has been over there watching. But uh, we got a lot of homeless people, and a lot of them have psychiatric issues here.
So if they found his ID, they probably canceled the, the portable APHIS. And there were a couple of constables here when I got here. Now you can see, all right, so the second vehicle at the red light to the left is uh, a Precinct 1 SUV. I mean, it's just, just going to be tedious for you guys that, that just want to listen to me ramble. Hang on. If you're, uh, if you're looking for action, I don't think there's going to be any action. They've got him in cuffs. They've got him secured. Uh, there's not going to be much here. And matter of fact, if, here in just a minute, I'm going to bounce because it's, it's pretty much over with. try and go roll on that narcotics thing when they, before they uh, search the vehicle and stuff but I don't think I can get there I think it'll take me a minute to get there probably be over with by the time I get there if the supervisor's coming Friday night we're gonna have street racers Get out and speak. get out, monster street racers. Hold on, I got somebody asking if the air is clear. Alright, well, nothing else happening here. They're gonna. They've got this dude secured and stuff, so, uh. Oh, there's a, I don't know if they're calling somebody for him or, yeah, they're trying to, they're trying to make a phone call for him. He gave him a number to call. So anyway, this is, uh, this scene is kind of wrapping up. There's nothing here. So I am going to move to the next location. See, I think they're. They'll probably just transport this guy downtown, let him sleep in, sleep in a in a cell overnight, and that'll be the end of it. Uh, charge him with pedestrian in the roadway or something, something stupid. Anyway, that's it, guys. I'm gonna roll on this one.